Hi, I'm Maddie, and these are my favourite bits from filming over the past year with Earth Unplugged. So, I've decided to start right at the very beginning, um, back to classic Zulala, and I have to pick Do Animals Fart? <laughs> to us, farts are just an annoyance. Or a source of amusement. <laughs> the outtakes at the end of the video, I think, give an example of just how funny we found it. See you next time on Zulala. One of the most amazing experiences, not only of the last year, but actually of my life, was going to Crocodiles of the World. I helped Sean and his team move an enormous American alligator called Albert and his girlfriend, Daisy. Jesus. And I was absolutely blown away. It was like seeing a dinosaur just lying on the floor and it was really big <laughs> and when you watch the film I think you can genuinely see I was I was quite shocked and I was very nervous. He's huge. He is, he's a big boy. The best thing about the whole alligator move was that I got to go back a couple of months later because Daisy and Albert got on extremely well, laid a clutch of eggs and actually had babies. I got to swim with paddlefish. These are prehistoric fish. And when I first saw them, I thought, you have got to be joking. Do you really want me to swim with those? Watching me whilst I was filming that with the prehistoric paddlefish were about, oh, I don't know, 60 school children. <laughs> and I'll never forget this one kid just looked at me and went, <laughs> I was like, oh dear, the six year old doesn't think I should do this. <laughs> but an amazing experience. The fish are absolutely incredible. And once I was in there, it was actually very peaceful. I'm swimming with actual dinosaurs. One of the videos we made was called Why Don't Bats Get Dizzy? Hello and welcome to Zoo La La. So why is it that bats don't get dizzy upside down? But how we filmed it was completely ridiculous. And what you didn't see <laughs> on the video is the setup and how they actually managed to get me swinging upside down. <laughs> Good. 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 Nice work. You okay. are there? Okay, you're gone. <laughs> the main challenge actually wasn't the blood rushing to my head, that obviously wasn't very attractive, but actually it was how hanging upside down affected my voice. And if you watch the video back, you'll hear that there are some clips where my voice starts sounding really choked and squeaky. Can I come down now? Back to early Zulala days, one of the biggest challenges I had was to eat 20 burgers and we created like a little wall out of them and I had to try and eat all of them and the film was which animal has like, the biggest gob. Oh, I felt so sick. I just had to face plant <laughs> into about 20 burgers and try and eat it. And I was sort of like chomping away. Meanwhile, the guy's like, go on, Maddie, more, 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 more. Go on, get your face right in it. <laughs> and at one point, I lifted my face and had about three gherkins stuck to my cheek and they were like, yeah, get a close up, that's brilliant. <laughs> I was like, really, guys? I've mentioned that on a couple of occasions, the guys at Earth Unplugged have had me in various ridiculous situations. <laughs> but I finally got the chance to get my own back on them when we filmed our interactive video, Can You Beat the Camouflage? which is when we got the guys to dress up in various camouflage and I got to shoot them with a paintball gun and it was awesome. <laughs> I love the video because it's really interactive and it makes um, just an incredible use of annotation. So, do, so it's more of a game really than a video. So do go and play it if you haven't already. Just getting to shoot all of the guys with a paintball gun, it was, it was quite refreshing and it was, um, it was a nice change. But although saying that, at the end of the shoot, they did then pelt me anyway. Oh. 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 I'm sure you've all heard of it, but there was this viral video called What Does the Fox Say? by Norwegian pop duo Ilvis and I spotted a bit of an opportunity that we could do a reaction video and we just have access to amazing archive here at the BBC and I thought, you know, we could actually answer this. What does the fox actually say? <coughs> And it's done so well. And I think that's because it sums up why YouTube is so great. It's responsive, it got everybody talking, and it was shareable. So what sound does a fox actually make? And why isn't it better known? It has been an absolutely amazing year, and it's been so much fun. And that's kind of how all of the Earth Unplugged film shoots have been, really. <laughs> Okay, that was really funny. <laughs> and there's 
there's far less competition for these roosting spots, simply because birds can't hang upside down. Ha!